Hey, what's up guys? Hopefully everyone's doing well. It has been a very super long time since I've done an unboxing of, of anything or made a video. i um, just been living my life, hanging out with friends, um, playing the new Diablo 4 for the PC. Um, today is Sunday, July the 2nd. It is 13 past 12 here on the east coast of Connecticut, USA. Um, I got this off Amazon last night. It shipped to me today. This is something I've been wanting. Um, I feel like I needed um, something like this because for some reason I have Corsair products on my computer and for some reason they decide to power down then power back up automatically and I think it's like a power issue problem. So I figured um, this might help. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, oh well, maybe I'll search out why um, I'm having problems. But um, I'll show you my, my desktop PC. I know it's dark in here but the first two are 2.0s, and the last two are 3.0s for USB. Um, I'm going to insert a picture of my motherboard, back of my motherboard, right here. All right. Now you can see um, the other, um, uh, what do you call them, inputs on back of my MSI uh, motherboard. Um, I'll most likely hook this up to the back end of my PC and try to figure out how to uh, get this from stopping from moving around. I might get some 3M tape. Um, we'll see what happens. But it was between this company and another company I found online. But I went with this. A Casus. It's a USB 3.0 hub with individual power switches. So, hopefully this uh, solves my problem. Because I got a, I got a Corsair headset, the headset stand, um, the keyboard, which comes with two USBs. Um, one for typing and the other one is so that it could power, um, on the back of the keyboard, up above, there's a USB port. And you could use that for um, ch charging or whatever. So, there's two um, plugs there, plus uh, my mouse pad and my wireless um, USB mouse as well. Or I could have that, or I could have the USB plugged in and don't have to worry about charging the, uh, um, the mouse whatsoever. Um, same goes with the um, headset that I'm looking straight ahead of me that you can't see. Um, so I got a bunch of USBs and hopefully this will solve the problem. And uh, we'll find out. First, let me turn on the light. All right, hopefully this is a little bit better. Um, probably not, but I do apologize. Um, I have my AC off so I won't be making any noise while I'm doing this. So it's going to be kind of stuffy in my little studio apartment. Um, what I could... No, I can't do. Okay, I can't open the shades actually. But um, it says features right here. LED to indicate power status through each port, which is nice. Data transfer speeds up to 5 gigabytes. Um, downstream port support. Super speed, five gigabytes, high speed. Supports up to 127 devices by daisy changing multiple hubs. Wow, that's a lot of USB ports, man. Uh, package contains 10 port USB 3.0s, power adapter and USB cable. Um, the nice one, the nice part about the smaller ones, like the four ports, they're all powered through the USB um, port on the back of the computer or in front. This comes with its own like charge brick. Which kind of blows because there's so many wires under there anyway. But let's open this bad boy. Come on. Comes with this nice little neat packaging, which is nice. It's all wrapped up. It's, it's nice and sturdy. 
don't know if you can hear that. Clicking sounds good. So I'll probably put this on the desk, on my desk itself. I'll probably get some um, 3M tape to put on three, probably three pieces or two, maybe, depending on how big I cut them or how big they come. And I'll just, lay, I'll just place it on the desk so it doesn't go anywhere. Or I might just put it in the back and just let it dangle or put it on top of the, uh, if I have room, put it on top of the desktop itself underneath my desk. No, I, actually, I can't do that because of, of the wiring. I'll figure something out. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, another adapter brick. Does this move? Because most of the most of these things, oh yeah, it does move. Hmm. So you could no. All right. Because some of these like move depending on how um, what kind of squid you have or the wall sockets or whatever, but they don't give you instructions. I figure they. Oh no, that's from the packaging. My bad. No, no instructions at all. All right, whatever. Empty box. Go the USB, and I believe that's a 3.0. They tend to say it like right here, but I guess it doesn't. But either way, this is what comes with it. I'm gonna set this thing up and give it a ride, give it a whirl, and I'll get back to you guys. That's where it goes. Plug this in like that, like that to the to either a squid or the wall, and um, you can start. Plugging in everything um, that you need. So, all right. Um, I'm underneath my desk, uh, my corner desk. My AC is on. Hopefully, you can hear me just fine. I plugged in the uh, power pack. Um, I plugged into the, uh, um, the USB hub. Now, all these are off. What you do is hit a button and they turn on. Now, if you don't want to use now, if you have like USB sticks, and you don't want to, you don't want to like, you want to turn one off. You just hit the button, and it turns it off. Um, I have it hooked up. It's wired right here. I'll throw an image of the back of the uh, motherboard so you know what uh, part I'm using. I'm using a 3.2 right now, I believe, or 3.0. Um, I'll, I'll make sure you know what port I'm using uh, through the image. Um, I don't really have a place to mount. I totally forgot the 3M tape today, but I think right here, right by these two little, I don't even think they're vents, but uh, if you knock these out, I think you put something in there actually. I don't remember what. So I was thinking of 3M taping something like this. So. I think that looks good right there. So I got my Corsair stuff plugged in. The nice thing about the Corsair that I love is that it comes with extra um, USB ports for the mouse pad through the, through the uh, uh, the headset stand has a USB port you could use for something. Um, the keyboard as well. Um, the only thing that doesn't have a extra USB port is the actual mouse itself, but. That's that's why I like um, using Corsair products, and um, I got um, Corsair RAM right there. These are from eBay. Uh, when my buddy um, built my PC for me, um, he told me to go with these. But I want to switch these um, fans out for Corsair fans. I got my 3080 right there. I'm gonna wait. Um, I'm not gonna buy the 40 series at all anytime soon. And this is an ebay fan as well they're nothing but good to me right now they the fronts are ticking you can hear them tick a little bit so i think they're on the way out i don't know but uh i do want a corsair fan um and i do want a water cooled um fan as well 
Oh yeah, there's more fans up there I forgot to mention. So I got all eBay fans right there that are in red. This came with the chip and the RAM is uh, Corsair. But yeah, I think I'm gonna mount it right here, get some 3M tape. Um, if I could zip tie it, I would, but I can't. So I actually gotta take this desk, um, this PC out and just get the dust out of it. I haven't done it for a year. And I know it's bad, but it doesn't overheat, so I can't complain, but I really should keep up on the mains of uh, this beautiful uh, PC right here. So, I like this little unit. I think it's well worth it. Aluminum. Um, it looks nice. I have no complaints whatsoever so far. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave the link down below. Um, the link to the Amazon site, actually, and... If you want, you can pick this up if you if you like. Um, so if you like, if you like, dislike, if you dislike, and I'll catch you guys around. Thank you so much, guys.